Hi, Shannon Johnson here. Today we're going to use Max to document information on Bob so we can make him a great fitting denter. We're going to start with having Max already open. We're going to enter his information in a HIPAA compliant way. So now that Max is open, we're going to click on New Patient and then we're going to enter Bob's chart number which is going to be HIPAA compliant and we will hit OK. Next part is going to be positioning Bob. So we want to make sure that Bob's head is going to be parallel to Max and we want to make sure that he's looking straight forward and that his head's not canted um, to the left or to the right. Um, we also want Bob to be looking straight ahead so we'll be able to align the eye circles with his eyes. This is going to be pretty close. Sometimes I will adjust Bob's head just to make sure if he's straight. A little to the left, if you will. There we go. And we're going to stop right here, and we're going to have Bob put in his retractors, as we had taught him to do a little bit earlier. Now we have Bob in place. His eyes are in the eye circle. The midline is in the patient's midline in the middle of the rim. And then the horizontal lines are also even with both of his eyes. We're going to go ahead and click Capture. And now we have the information we need to go to the next step. So now that we've captured our image with Max, we're going to go ahead and dismiss Bob for the day and we'll reappoint him. Um, we're going to come back into the lab. We're going to show you how we're going to use the information captured to make the best venture for Bob. So now we're going to be working with Bob's image. We're going to start by using the blue capture bar at the top of the screen which you can toggle back and forth between the skeleton view and Bob's photo. Um, in the skeleton view, at this point, um, the eye circles no longer have any meaning and it's all about the centrals. We want to make the central match. Um, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to toggle all the way back over so we see Bob. Howdy, Bob. And now what we're going to do is we are going to size the tooth. Uh, in Bob's case, we were matching his existing denture and in the mouth we verified that we liked that size. On the occlusion rim, um, in addition to having a midline marked, I also have the tooth size marked and another little dash over to the side. So what we're going to do is after we had measured that tooth, I'm going to make sure that this stays right in that midline, both facial midline and horizontal midline. We're going to come down to the bottom left and we're going to use his eight and a half millimeter tooth. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to use our scroll bars, plus minus, and then up, down, left, right. And we are going to match the tooth to my line that we have here. Better than I can't see. Bigger yet. So now I have Bob's image where the size of his tooth is going to match um, on the rim. And I did this by, again, zooming in and out for major movements. And then for fine tuning, I use the plus, minus, and the arrow keys. Um, at this point, we'll go ahead and we're going to hit OK to save the image, so that way we can send it to the laboratory. OK. With complete dentures, we don't have a first point of contact. So there's no reason to enter anything in this step. We're going to hit save at the bottom and we're going to click back to set list so we can then send this to the lab. Um, if you'll notice for our patient, the HIPAA compliant form, um, you'll see on the patient side we have three green bars. That means that we've completed all of our information needed on the doctor's side. And we're going to send that to the lab, which hasn't happened yet, so they're in the red bar.
Hi, this is Jason. Today we're going to use Max to mount the maxillary wax rim using Bob's photo. Now we move to Max, where you look for the green border, showing us that the tablet's level. And then with the blue bar, you can toggle between the live image and the photo of Bob. The model is placed on the occlusal stand against the horizontal line that represents Bonwell's equilateral triangle. Next, we'll line up the model on the occlusal stand to match Bob's photo. You can tell we are currently off because the red line sits in the middle of the black plate. We can look at Bob's photo and see on the photo that the incisal edge rests on the red line. Move the blue capture bar so you can now see the model. I'm going to tilt the occlusal stand down so the incisal edge is resting on the red line. We're going to check to see if we're lined up. To do that, we're going to take a photo of the model. Now you can see we have a photo of both the model and Bob. So we're going to see just how aligned we are. You can zoom in really close. You can really go through there and see those lines. And because we can see we're in alignment, we'll now save. Now you'd mount the model in the usual manner. Thanks and have a great day.